Hi guys, this is Ian here with UDA Technologies and I'm going to take you through our Sweet Talk video today covering creating a brand new project in Construction Suite. Uh, now, when you're first getting started with Construction Suite or just getting logged in, it's going to take you first to the dashboard page on the Today screen, which is what we're looking at right now. Uh, for creating a new project though, I always like to work out of the projects section and you'll find this over on the left hand side. We've got the navigation panel here and projects is going to be right here near the middle. So let's click on projects to get to our screen and from here you'll actually see some of the content that we've got for existing projects and you'll see an area on this screen where we've got various different project statuses available here as well. Now on this page there's an option to create a new project in the top left corner. It's right here, there's a button for it next to the plus sign. And this new project button is going to open up the project wizard which is going to take us step by step through the process of creating this project. To begin with, of course, we need to click Next to get into the details for the project itself. And we've got two primary or required fields for every project that we're creating. And this is going to be the project name and the project type. Now, of course, the more information we can put into the project, the greater this is going to benefit us in the long run. You're going to have more information that's automatically populating for reports that we generate in the long run, and a lot of this information is going to be filterable, so it's always a great idea to fill in as many of these fields as you possibly can. But let's start up here at the top with project name, which, uh, for our purposes today, let's go ahead and use the Gory Residence. And this type of project is going to be a new residential project. You'll actually see several different project types in here as well, and I highly recommend getting into this list and customizing it. But for that, we'll visit in another Sweet Talk video. For now, I just want to pick Single Family Residential. And let's go populate some of the additional details for this. Now, of course, Client is going to be a required field as we start working with QuickBooks integration and for some of the contracts and reports that we need to generate. This is also going to help as we start syncing the information up to Construction Online. Uh, for the address, as I mentioned before, the more information you can populate here, the better off you'll be in the long run, the less you're going to have to retype as you enter everything in there. So make sure that you don't skip any fields if it can be avoided. Uh, country, this is going to be the United States for the moment. That's where we're working for Alice here. And of course, you'll also be able to group your projects, select a project status, and uh, some of the additional details as well as we get on to the next page as well. Um, now again, most of the grouping and statuses that you set up here are going to be extremely beneficial for some of the reporting and management features. So make sure that you guys select these where appropriate. Select Next to put in a very basic scope of work for this project. Um, and I say basic because the field isn't very large and you can always build a larger scope or a spec sheet either through the estimates that we create later or through our specification wizard that you can also visit. So again, in this particular section, I highly recommend keeping it uh, short and sweet if possible. So scope of work in this case might be custom home, includes landscaping and the like. Uh, of, of course, as you get down into special conditions, you can also work with uh, uh, other options potentially or exclusions perhaps in the project. Um, special conditions is a wonderful field for putting in, again, sh a short and sweet description of any outliers that we want to make sure the client is aware of before we get started. Um, now on the next page, you'll actually have a little bit of a description here of the dimensions for the project. Uh, these are general measurements that we might be taking on each of these jobs, and it's a good idea to fill these in based on the measurements that we've done on the job if necessary. Again, most of these are fed for the project type. Um, the nice thing about it is, when you put in these values, whether we use them or not, all you have to do at this point is click Finish, and we now have this new project that we can start populating with our estimate, with our contracts, with some of the additional details. And from here, you'll actually be able to dive into really adding that information and setting these jobs up for success. Now, once again, this is going to be it for creating the projects. Of course, you guys will be going through and creating several through, throughout your um, use of Construction Suite, and I certainly hope to see many of them. But for now, let's go ahead and leave it at that for this particular project. Um, this again is Ian with UDA Technologies, and this is going to wrap our Sweet Talk video. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you gave us a little thumbs up there at the bottom. But otherwise, thanks and have a great night.